Hi everyone and welcome back to the Flutes channel. Today we'll be talking about a very relatable topic which is of course three bad habits that are actually costing you money in the long run. Sometimes you might not even realize it's a bad habit until someone mentions it. It makes you think and hopefully this video will help you save some money. So number one, the age old issue of not paying off your credit card debt. When you have your credit card, it can feel like you basically get free money. You get to buy what you want, when you want, immediately. It's immediate gratification. However, sometimes you end up spending way more than you're actually earning and you tell yourself, I'll just pay the rest off next month and you say the same again next month and then next month and next month and of course depending on which credit card you're with you are going to have interest rates so what ends up happening is yeah you get the things that you buy immediately but you end up paying way more than what you would have paid for if you would have just saved up or if you would have budgeted properly and paid it all off. Did you know that the average American has a $6,000 balance on their card? Now imagine paying interest on that. Bad habit number two. Have you noticed that back in the era of TV shopping like QVC for example, those type of programs would always come on at a specific time at night. When you're bored, you don't know what to watch, you're kind of just half awake watching TV. That is when they get you and you end up buying little trinkets and knickknacks that you wouldn't have bought otherwise. Now that we're in the age of online shopping, this is even more so a problem because you're bored, the internet is there all the time, online shopping is there all the time. They say the same thing about not going grocery shopping when you're hungry because you end up buying things that you wouldn't have bought otherwise. So instead of spending money just because you have nothing else to do, try and do something productive. Or if you do have to go shopping, make sure you write down the list and really stick to it. And number three, shopping for status. Is there a really trendy bag that all of your friends have? Or those pairs of shoes that just came out that are really rare but you really want them? I think we've all been in a situation where we've bought that designer item or that trendy thing and then after a month looked at it and been like, wow, I have not thought about this, worn this, use this since the week that I bought it. You end up with something that you wouldn't have purchased without the quote unquote hype around it. Think about if that's really what you want. Will you use it in a month's time or two months time? I hope you could relate to this video and if you did, let us know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.